guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to teach you how to make a fuzzy or knitted cardigan on pixlr.com e so the first thing that i like to do when i have my template open is add a background layer with a skin tone i feel like it makes it easier to see what i'm doing with a background layer on so this would be the first step but of course it's optional you don't have to do it next add a new layer and make sure that it's under the background. Pick your color, which I've already done, and go to the Select tool. This template is um, different from the usual template. It has dots that indicate where your drawings would be on the Roblox torso, arms, etc. Um, if that doesn't make sense, I'll just give an example. Two dots here would be right under the waist on a Roblox torso. So it makes it much easier to measure things with this template. And of course, I'll link it in the description. Select however much you want and go to this bucket tool, fill it in. Now it's time for the sleeves. So again, select however much you want and fill it in. Now go to the select tool again, press ellipse, and create your ellipse. Once you're happy with your circle, press delete or backspace on your keyboard. Now go to the erase tool, and select this star brush right here. Make sure to flip it so that it's facing like this and create a little slot. I like to add buttons to my cardigan, so that's what I'm gonna do next. So add a new layer. You can make a new color if you would like. Go to the shape tool, press on the circle, and make sure that fill is on. Now it's time for the knitted part of the knitted cardigan. Make sure to add a new layer and go to the shapes tool. Make sure that you have the line tool in the draw section selected and just outline the edge of your cardigan. Once you're done with your line, make sure to erase the excess line that you don't need. You can adjust the line however you would like. Now right click on the layer and change the mode to overlay. Right click on the layer again and press duplicate. Move the next line slightly above your original line. Now add a new layer. Go to the Shapes tool and again make sure you are on the Line tool. Now make a bunch of lines in between your two first original lines. Do this repeatedly, whether that's by just drawing a bunch of mini lines or copy and pasting. I copy and pasted because I found it much more easy than just drawing a bunch of lines. So now I'm gonna do a speed design, I guess, of the lines, but I'll be back to you when I'm done with the lines. I'm using lines a lot.
after you're done filling in the mini lines, you can adjust the transparency and, of course, change the mode to overlay. You don't have to adjust it the same way that I did. I just adjusted it to however I exactly liked it, which ended up being a transparency of about like 12 in the end. So yeah, I don't stick with six as a transparency. After you're done with that, add a new layer. And now is time for your knitted part of the knitted cardigan. I used a reference, all credits to the artists of the reference, aka Strawberry Baguette, but in the end I did originally make the pattern, so I only used the vest as a reference. Make a bunch of lines on your cardigan, just repeatedly like you did with the mini mini lines on the outline of the cardigan. Here I mess up a bit, but make sure that you're on the curved line icon and also make sure that you're on a new layer, which is what I forgot to do. Once you're on a new layer, make a line and then with your cursor, just drag it to however curved you want it to be. This really won't make sense unless you're doing this in Pixlr or you have experience with Pixlr. And it's really easy, uh, it's just a matter of knowing how to use Pixlr. Like I said, do this repeatedly until you have your whole template filled out. So I'm just going to do a speed design, kind of mini speed design of me um, filling it out. Of course, along the way, you can adjust the transparency to however you would like it to be, which is what I did. Simply repeat this process for the sleeves, copy and paste your knit pattern, and then copy and paste the outline of your cardigan onto the sleeves, of course, and then you're done. It's as simple as that. Of course, I'm just going to skip to the clip where I've already done the sleeves since you already know how to do it and there's no use in dragging you through my process. And there you have it, you're done. It's as simple as that and now you can save it and upload it to your Roblox group. Let me know if you guys do try to recreate this because I really want to see how it turned out. But that's going to be the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week and bye!